Hi guys, I just wanted to show you my latest creation. Uh, if you're into 3D printing and also an avid uh, reloader, then uh, this might be for you. If you've already been to my channel, you might have seen my partially 3D printed um, brass annealing uh, station. Um, but this here, I now have a, a brass prep station. Everything is 3D printed except for the display and of course the tools and, and the bolts and the, the motor that's in there. But the rest of it is 3D printed. Um, it's in sections of which uh, I'll show you in a bit. <clears throat> and what I got is, uh, um, I'll show you the insides in a, in a moment, but let me just show you how it operates. <clears throat> it's got a it's got a 200 rpm i'm sorry a 100 rpm motor in there but with gear uh, um, reductions or anyway it runs at 200 rpm when it's at uh, maximum setting here so let me just show you a little bit how it operates which is obviously self-explanatory so here I have uh, inside bevel, outside, and then pocket cleaning. So you can just do inside, outside. Uh, this has this has the primer still in it, obviously. Or, but you see how you can uh, clean the uh, stations there. You can adjust the RPM if you would like it low, lower. But I found that most of the time I just have it on uh, maximum RPM. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go ahead and take these bolts out and I'll kind of show you the, the insides of it. Actually, before I do that, I wanted to show you the tools. So... The tools themselves, I found that if you purchase each of these tools individually, you could have probably 50 to or up to $50 worth of, of just for these tools. But I found that if you get this Lyman brass uh, prep tool, which has these screw on attachments and they're all on 8 by 32 thread, what I did is I took two lock washers, two 8 by 32. I'm not lock washers, but 8 2 8 by 32 lock nuts. And uh, you just line them up real, real nice, and then you see they fit right in. If I wanted to change this from large rifle primer, I just take that out, and I can put in the small pistol primer. And uh, so it's, it's easily be changed out. I wanted to use some connecting nuts, they call them on here, that were longer, but I couldn't find them. So, But this actually worked out real good. Okay, I'll now uh, uh, open this up and show you what's on the inside. Okay, as far as parts, each one of these stations has this dust collar so that so brass filings don't get um, fall down around the edge. So they just slide on. And next, here's, here's the top. <clears throat> it's just the top layer, so that's one piece. Then we just got the upper spacer. And here's the tool holders that just slide onto this hex gear. And uh, that is what held the tool on there. Next is we have four roller skate bearings. There's a total of eight bearings. And for stability, I have two on each, each station. Get this off. And here's the four and a half inch uh, by quarter bolts that hold the four corners on. Okay, so here's here's the four roller skate bearings in that piece. In here, we've got the main gear and the four planetary gears that gives gives it it's 200 RPM. Let me plug it in real quick and let you see that. <clears throat> and 
Now, if I lift this piece up, there's going to be wires, so I won't be able to take a, a, a lot of it apart anymore. Um, now, this is a 12 volt motor. <clears throat> and, but I just used this uh, Chromebook power supply, which is 19 volts. So I threw a buck converter down uh, on mine to reduce it to 12 volt. And this is also an HP sour. Uh, this came also came out of the Chromebook as far as the power connector. The, I'm going to post the plans online <clears throat> on Thingiverse. And it won't include this part because this is just what I had. So I made it for that. But I'm going to recommend a 12 volt uh, um, power supply off Amazon. That's like $7 I think it was. And I've already... Um, created a new bottom down here that uh, accommodates that power supply. So also <clears throat> I'm going to have two sets of plans on Thingiverse. I'll have this a lower spacer with the hole for the display if you would like to have this capability but if you just plan on running it at a hundred percent like I usually do anyway I'll include it with another one with this uh, with this hole filled in with just like the sides here um, and so there's the motor connected to it there's the other four roller skate bearings down down below let's see if I can get one out so it's just like that <clears throat> and uh, so yeah so I'm gonna post these plans with all the instructions and the links to the parts you need on Thingiverse and uh, yeah if you are interested in it go ahead and build it thank you